comida. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Insanely overdue, exactly what I wanted. First, real meal, put in my body. Feeling so much better today, guys. Gratitude, above the screen. Sweet potato, bacon, mixed veggies, eggs, just, we're in this. This is gonna be a short but exciting video. Oof, all right guys, food poisoning update. Pulled the kookest move and just didn't even think about what I was doing this morning. All hyped to be feeling better, made a massive breakfast. The internet is claiming you want your first meal back to be like a cracker and like a sip of water. And I was just so stoked to be feeling good. Made a massive breakfast this morning, ate the whole thing. I was feeling great for a while and then my body just couldn't digest it. And I started puking again all day, seeing stars, lightheaded, blah, blah, blah. And I know that they're saying if you're puking more than two days, then you should go to the doctor, but I think I just I just pulled a rookie mistake and ate way too much food, and uh, I'm gonna give it one more rest day here and just see how I feel tomorrow. But you know how it goes. Vlog every day for the dream. Um, this is a good way to show and remind myself that I'm human and that you can grind as much as you want, but sometimes you're gonna get taken down and debilitated and uh, yeah, I'm just happy that I have homies and a house and some beds that they let me crash in for a while and I'm not just like, in a parking lot in the van melting on my own. And uh, yeah, I have some extra footage from Mount Hood that I wanna leave you guys with today because I like leaving you with some entertainment. And this homie Aaron at Mount Hood, he owns Elevated Surfcraft, it's a surf and snowboard company, and he is living in his van. It's a bus that he renovated himself. He calls it the Stokemobile. Him and his pooch have been just traveling around for I think it was like three to five years now. Living out of this thing, just spreading stoke everywhere he goes, shaping boards, surfing, snowboarding, skating and everything, and uh, yeah, that's, that's my material for today. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow. If not, I will probably go see a doctor. But for now, we're just, honestly, we're just chilling. We're stoked actually that we're getting shredded over here. Haven't eaten food in three days. Boys are just getting ripped and so unnutritized. But yeah, shout out to Aaron, Elevated Surfcraft, and thank all of you guys so much for all the love and support and the good message you've been sending me and the healing vibes. And yeah, hopefully we see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we can get back in the water, do some skating, do something here. Because this is not the dream. But it's all part of it. Whew! Much love, guys. Hasta mañana. Alright, we're back. We're down here in Govey, off the hill. You gotta check these boys' van out. They are living it. Dude. Like What's up, folks? Scooties. Welcome to the elevated team. Yeah, might be stoked to get your perspective on it. All right. Brian's been riding oh, on them. The surfboards. Yeah. Like, Bro, what? He puts the pit bike on it. I need this in the van. Yes. <laughs> what? The white turn Yo, this out. is Casey. Look. What's up, Casey? What's going on, man? How's it going, Aaron? Nice to meet you, nice brother. Nice to meet you, too. He's the owner of Elevated, so Casey does a pretty serious vlog. Okay. That everyone follows. <laughs> right. He's like, dude, we should do a vlog on Elevated. Bro, and look at your vlog. rig right now. Yeah. yeah he's What's going later. on in here, dude? This is the uh, the Stoke bus, my friend. What? <laughs> Where all the magic in the ma Imaginarium comes out of. <laughs> This is where I hang out and I imagine crazy thoughts of taking over the snowboard world <laughs> and bringing it to the next level and just move sleekly 
incognito all around and no one bothers because it's all just about the good vibes. You said it, man. This is my dog. His name's Dude. 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 Oh. oh. We are the best of friends. No way right now. But it's all just framed and insulated and then created in a way that's functional. Place to sleep, place for a friend to sleep or to hang out, kitchen, like anything you could need. Tons of gear, a surfboard, snowboards, boots, wetsuits, photo bike. Three I, years now? I'm so hyped right now, dude. I'm so hyped for you and for dude. Yeah, it takes some reminding. I get into the zone sometimes where it's like, fuck, I've been on this road life. And I, every night I have to find a place to park. And then I have to consider where I drive. And it's like, and who am I? And I can stay anywhere for a night. As long as it, you know, I'm out early in the morning, but as soon showers. as I, showers. Showers? Bro. I stay near water. Yeah. I get the rinse in the ocean, I get the rinse in the river, like, or the lake. It's great. This but, you know, is on level. It just allows you to go wherever you want to go, whenever you want to go, at a pace that's like totally chill. It goes 55. We cruise. Have you slowly built it up? Um, you know what, really? The art has built up. I just looked at some original photos and it was just blank canvas. And everything kind of added in. There's that's not like a lot of like. like a lot of space for art, but like, you know, our sticker collection. You know, from all over, redwoods, couple key pieces that stand out, but you know, it's just all adding into the story that uh, is what it is. Unreal. <laughs> Who's to say that some other way is more important? I don't sell boards, I just make sure they get to the people who they need to get to so they can keep going, they can keep riding, they can keep feeling all the different types of feelings that like are available. Let's just get stale, man. Let's get stale, that's the whole antithesis of this entire conundrum. That's why we do all this. That's why we go snowboarding day after day, year after year, 130 days a season. I'm probably at like 200 this season, dude. I'm like blown. But that's 200 days of pure stoke. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Unreal, man. Uh, I gotta take a step back. As I was saying before, it's like you get into it and then it just becomes the thing. And then you have to just deal with that thing. But Man, when you take a step back and look at what it can possibly be. No way. Wherever this goes, it has one purpose. To bring, cultivate, explore, perpetuate, stoke. Because if you can like be riding on that wave all the time, well, you're doing something. Yes, dude. <laughs> Bro, I'm out of here too. Amazing meeting you, dude. Great catching up. You got me you got me Swing got by. We got boards whenever. Yeah, 100%, dude. Come take a ride. We gotta surf together too. Yeah. Alright. Peace out, Aaron. What a dream machine, dude. At least we gotta step this girl up before next winter.